Morning and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm here at Torquay Harbour today. This wasn't my first choice of location this morning. I was actually going to go to Thatcher Rock, which is a little bit further on, but uh, there's just no drama in the sky. There's nothing going to happen. There's no movement in the waves. And looking at the forecast yesterday, I knew that was going to be the case, but uh, I thought I'd take a chance and uh, see if it was going to change, but it hasn't. The forecast is pretty much, pretty much spot on, as you can see from behind me. There are going to be no there's not going to be a sunrise this morning. Well, it'll be a sunrise, but just no drama in the sky because as you can see, it's pretty much overcast. So I thought I'd stop here at Torquay Harbour, have a look, just have a little walk around. Again, not really the ideal conditions, but look, it's six o'clock in the morning. What more, you know, this is, this is great walking around here. It's quiet, it's peaceful. There's no one about. There's a couple of boats in the harbour milling about, but apart from that, you don't normally see Torquay Harbour like this. So I'm going to take advantage of it, have a little walk around see if I can find any nice reflections because the water is so flat this morning um, and see what I can do. Now this is a shot that I've lined up. I've seen a, a few people before take this shot. Uh, it's um, Again, I've not really got the right conditions. It'd be nice if we just had a little bit of rain so the, the boardwalk was wet. So we've got that sheen and the reflection of the lights. So I'm not hoping for much really here today, but it's nice to have all the lights on. Actually, they're all on. No, one's out. Normally there's a few bulbs out. But there you go. Anyway, I'm going to take this shot and then have a little walk around the harbour before it gets too light so I can see if I can catch a few of these reflections. Beautiful morning here down at Torquay Harbour. Now, this is as I've panned around, I mean, you know, look at the beautiful reflections. The water is so still, it really is. I might actually take a shot there or even something like that with a reflection of the wheel and maybe do a pano. Okay, I've got to sort of uh, be a little bit quicker, so I'm going to miss a shot here. So I'm going to set up for a panorama uh, of Torquay Harbour here. Um, I'm going to set up and I'll explain what, uh, what camera settings I've got after that. Okay, so I've decided to put a filter on just because what I want to do is just darken down the sky a little, uh, keep the exposure um keep the exposure for the water rather than the sky so i'm just going to put a um grad on uh, actually i'm going to put i'm going to put a polarizer on as well so this is a kf system i'm using here you've probably seen the other day i've done a little unboxing video of this one um so i'm just going to chuck this one on here i'll show you the system in a minute really straightforward and simple I like the fact that there's no light leakage on this, which is great. Okay, so I've taken a series of uh, five different shots um, panning across the horizon to give us a nice um, panorama. What I'm going to do is stitch them together in, in Photoshop. The camera settings I've got here are F8 to give us a, a, a good depth of field. It's probably the sharpest point on this lens. And also I'm shooting at um, three seconds. Just to flatten out that water a little bit more, I mean, it's, as you can see, it's, it's like a pancake out there anyway, so it doesn't really need much. Um, so that's just going to help flatten out the water a little bit. And um, ISO 50. Wait for this boat to pass. Okay, so I've come around to the other end of the harbour here, just having a little look around, just a bit of a scouting mission, really. Well, as you can see, the sky definitely is not going to come to anything today, so we're not going to get that, that beautiful sunrise I was hoping for. But um, do you know what? It's just nice being out in this. So I just thought I'd take this time, just have a little wander around, see if I can find any compositions, you know? So if you get out in the mornings and the sky doesn't happen, just enjoy it, really. Just enjoy it, enjoy the time alone, the peace and quiet, the seagulls, plenty of seagulls here, and just, just search around for compositions. I mean, that's what I'm going to do, use this as a scouting exercise. Like I say, the one I got earlier with the panorama, over there is a nice nice shot to come back to, uh, either at sunrise, maybe a little bit later on in the year when the sun does come up over Torquay, or even at sunset, where you're going to get that golden glow on the hill of Torquay. So uh, I might pop back tonight, depending on what the weather's going to be, and see if I can get that shot. But for now, I'm going to have a little look around um, and just enjoy the peace and quiet, really.
I thought I'd show you the, um, the filter system we're using this morning. So I'm using the KF Concept filter system, the square system, the pro system. And um, you get this, uh, this filter cage, which, um, which I think is uh, beautifully made, good quality. Now this one just snaps, let me close that one up. This one just snaps onto the filter ring. So you've got this little locking, locking nut here. I don't know if you can see that. So at the moment it can spin. So you can just lock that in position. Then you've got this little arm here that opens up and you can just drop your polarizer into that position there. So that one just drops in there and locks up. What's great about this system is once the uh, polarizing filters in there, there's literally no light leakage. So that's fantastic. Now you've got this little dial here. If you spin this, this rotates the circular polarizer and just spin it until you've got your desired effect. Now it also comes with a, um, a soft grad. And uh, I love using grads for my photography, especially seascapes. It just gives you the ability to be able to darken down that sky. So that one just, that one just slips in there and you can quite easily move that up and down to gain the uh, desired effect. Okay, it also comes with a, an ND filter, so it gives you a 10 stop ND filter, but this, this particular case does anyway, or this set does. So you also get an ND filter with that one, so that's a 10 stop. And again, that just slips in there, so you can actually stack two filters on top of each other, as well as the polarizer in there, if you need to, if you've got that desire to do that. Um, I've not used the 10 stop today, I've not needed to. The water's really flat, there's no movement in the clouds, so I've not needed to slow anything down. So uh, yeah, have a little look at my previous video. There is a little uh, unboxing video on there. Now I've used a few systems over the years, and I must admit, um, I found this the slickest, the easiest to use to be fair. And um, for the money, it's uh, very good value. I hope that helps and um, see you again soon. Bye-bye.